Hey guys, so today you are going to learn how to set up a confirmation email with device and raise it out. So here inside the app, so here I can register a new account, click on sign up. Back to the terminal itself, you see that we have sent an email. Okay, so we get here the message send mail and the email address we have used and also from where the email was sent from and then a subject to confirm the instructions, confirmation instructions to finally activate the account. So if I go to my email account here, you see that we have now here an email with the email address that the email was sent from. And then we also have here message welcome and the email that we have used. And then you can confirm to account your email through the link below and then a link to confirm the account. Let's go back to our app and say users sign in. Let's try to sign in without confirming the email. So now we get the message. You have to confirm your email address before continuing. So let's uh, click on confirm my account. And so we get now the message. Your, your email address has been successfully confirmed. And when I click now on login, everything works, okay? So let's get started. All right, so to get started, let's cd to desktop, raise new, and I have to specify my version that I want to use. So 5.2.2 and then underscore. So I have also installed the beta of the race version six and Ruby environment will always take by default the newest version that you have installed. So for this tutorial, I don't want to use the beta, but the version 5.2.2. And that's how you can specify this just in case you're wondering how to do that. And then we need to add, of course, new and then mailer device, which is the name of the app and you can name your app whatever you want to whatever you like to call it or name it and then let's see to the into mail a device and let's open up the text editor and then inside the game file i want to first of all specify the sqlite version here quickly and i do this because there is lately a bug going on uh, that some people get and i actually was able to fix that problem uh, however, for some reason it came back again, so I will definitely look into that and we'll probably do also a tutorial about that. All right, and then let's add your also device. So with that, we can run bundle install. And once that's finished, we also need to run G device install, okay? So if you have watched some of my other tutorials, you probably noticed that we always copy uh, the first line here that will show up in just a moment, where we say that we need to add this to our development RB file. So you might have been wondering what this is actually doing, or what this actually does. So inside development RB, let's paste it in. Let's talk about this quickly because now it's a great time to talk about that. So all this does is set up the action mailer default URL option and set it to a host and a port, in our case localhost and the port 3000. So what this does is it makes us able to send emails from our uh, development environment. That's why we have to add that to the development RB file. So without that, we will need to deploy our app and then test, for example, the uh, function to send emails from the production environment, which is something we don't want. Okay, so with that, we are able to do that inside the development environment. Let's copy also here the classes and paste them quickly inside the app HTML ERB between the body and the yield like so. And now we're good to go. So let's create our device user model, raise G device user hit enter and I will close everything inside the text editor and then let's go to db migrate and here we have now our users migration file and let's go down here where it says confirm able and let's uncomment this here. So these are just four columns. The first one is obviously the confirmation token. Then we have the daytime confirmed and the daytime confirmation sent and and then also the string unconfirmed email, okay? So we could add these later on as well, but it makes it's actually much easier to simply uncomment this immediately before you run your migration. So with that, we can say raise db migrate. And so this will generate our schema, our b file in just a moment with our users table in it. 
and the attributes that we have uncommented. So confirmation token, confirmed add, confirmation sent add, and unconfirmed email. All right, let's go also to the user RB file and make sure to add the module confirmable. And so we can also add other modules. So definitely look into that. Like I always say, it's worth the time to learn device because it comes with pretty much everything you need to get started. And as you can see, we can also, and it's also really easy to customize it. All right, now let's close everything one more time and let's go to the device RB file. And here where it says the config mail sender, we can specify the email that we want to display once we send an email to a user. So uh, this is where we always see then the email that the user sees where the email came from or has been sent it from. So here we can say, for example, info at awesome IO and obviously you would normally add here the name of your uh, project or app, okay? With that we are pretty much ready to go. For this tutorial, I will use SendGrid. So you can sign up for free and you get like 40,000 emails, I think for the first month and then 100 emails per day or per month uh, for free. So simply sign up, create a new account and then you will be probably redirected here to the guide path. If not, simply go to appsendgrid.com com and then guide and then click here on start to integrate the web API or SMTP relay. We want to choose the SMTP relay, which gives us basically just some basic information to set up the server and the port. They also have a guide on sendgrid.com docs for developers sending email and then Ruby and race. And we don't need here anything except the, the part where they set up the action mailer. So let's copy this. And you can either retype that or simply go to the uh, to the page here itself and then copy this. And so with that, let's go to the uh, environment RB file and here paste it in. Now obviously we need to change the uh, your SendGrid username to the username we have used once we register a new account. In my case, that's just a random user. And obviously I just create a new account for this tutorial. For your password, you want to use the password that you have used uh, for your account itself. So no API key whatsoever, just your password. I won't record this obviously. So I will add the password and then start recording again. All right, so I have added the password as well. And so we are pretty much ready to go. So let's start the server and let's go to localhost users and then sign up. And then obviously we need to add use an email we have access to click on sign up and you see it takes a little bit longer than normally and back and in here inside our terminal, we have the message sent mail to the email address that we have used. And then we also get here the email address we have uh, from where the email has been sent it from. So this is the info at awesome IO mail address that we have specified inside device RB as you can see. And then also again to who the email was sent to. And then we get here a subject confirmation instructions and then a preview of the email itself and all of that is pretty much coming from the device itself so you can customize that if you want to but we'll not do this for this tutorial because I will focus on the main part to uh, confirm the email okay so with that let's go to our to the email here I have so inside the email account I have now the email and as you can see it's from the uh, it was sent from info at awesome.io and then we have Wicom and the email address we have used. And then the message, you can confirm your account email through the link below and then link. So before we click that, let's go back to our app and let's try to sign in without clicking on that. So if I try to sign in now, you see that we get now the message. You have to confirm your email address before continuing. So this is all working. And if I click on confirm my account, this will then finally work. We get now a message, your email address has been successful. And then I can of course sign in and everything is working just nicely. We can also, for example, go to race C and then get the first user by saying U equals to user first. And then we can, for example, uh, get the confirmation token or we can get the confirmed at daytime 
and pretty much everything else that we have added once we uncommented the uh, migration the confirmable columns here okay all right so that would be basically it i hope you learned a lot i haven't been uploading lately uh, anything to my youtube channel simply because i was working on my personal project that I will announce here on my youtube channel very soon and yeah i hope you learned a lot and see you next time thanks for watching